tonight's gore. I see you shiver with anticipation. You've been a great crowd. You've been rowdy and loud. Thanks from Elvira, the camp. From there, we go into an interview. The interview includes Mr. Lobo, who's a fantastic horror host, who just happens to be somewhat local. He does his show out of Sacramento, but it's all over the country. I was flipping through TV, and I actually thought, I, when I came across your show, I thought, I thought it was something vintage. I thought it was like from the 50s. And I remember watching it and going like, that is some fucked up shit. <laughs> And it, 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 this is not meant as a humongous insult, but it reminded me of Martini, really. Because, because you were like talking to your plant and you were, he, was getting, he was getting mad because he thought his plant was getting more attention than he was. Oh, it's good stuff. The two of us together, we get the privilege, the honor uh, here tonight to introduce to you again, the one, the only, let's hear it for Elvira, ladies and gentlemen. The first thing I have to ask is, like, are you drinking the blood of infants, or, you know? Yes, that, that's what I'm having right now. Thank you. It's really good, too. You look, I mean, when I was, believe it or not, I was a kid in the 80s. And uh, I used to watch your show and just, you know, I, I would, oh, honey, I have you know what? I older than you. <laughs> yeah, I I, I, um, and they're on sale yeah, in the lobby right now. <laughs> <laughs> but, will be if I can make a buck out of it. Doesn't she look gorgeous, though? I mean... I really have to speak, and I want to. I hope you'll allow me for the drag queens when I say, we just want to thank you for everything, Elvira. Really, you are, I mean, you are an honorary drag queen, well, and you, you're amazing. Yeah, well, uh, thank you. And you know, the wacky thing is, now drag queens are looking like me, but I learned everything I learned from drag queens. <laughs> I was raised by a pack of wild drag queens. <laughs> <laughs> and they taught me how to do my makeup, and how to walk, and how to talk, and like, now it's that come full circle, and you know, and drag queens are like blaming me. I mean, uh, uh, thanking, <laughs> thanking you. Do you have any beauty secrets for us? Some tips you can share? <laughs> I was 
could ask you the same question. Just a little makeup. <laughs> well, I would start with uh, you know protecting your skin. For you know, you need like an SPF every day of over five thousand, which you know protect that ghostly pale complexion. Also, you need some uh, blood red lipstick, which you know sends out the message like I bite. I must say that um, it's a good thing the lights are in our eyes because I saw some of the audience coming in tonight. And let's face it, folks, you guys are weird. <laughs> it's totally weird. Um, but you know what? That's San Francisco for you. Now, Elvira, I have an unrehearsed question. Uh, you're the queen of Halloween. This year, how can we see more of you? Ooh, well. <laughs> Mr. Lobo! <laughs> I don't mean uh, square inches, I just mean a personal appearance. Oh, personal appearances and stuff. I'm doing a lot of merchandise. I'm doing Dream Halloween this year where Mattel is going to make a special edition Elvira Barbie. I have to say, you are the queen of merchandise. And I must, I, I do admit, I have the boat of candles and the posters, the CDs, the DVDs, the t-shirts, the tote bags, the, you know. <laughs> that available in the lobby tonight. But the costume bags, the Elvira costume bag. <laughs> no, you you really uh, do you really? No, you oh, oh yeah, I have that too. But um the Peaches Christ colostomy bag. <laughs> you know, that would probably sell pretty well actually. <laughs> Sick city. So um, Thinking of, can we do that? <laughs> so what's been, of all the merchandise, all the Elvira merchandise, what has been your favorite thing? Well, I gotta say, you know, I have done a slot machine and a video game, but I gotta say, and, and of course the beer and the perfume, but I think my favorite one has been the pinball machine. I've got two of them. I think my scariest one was the uh, a little smelly thing you hang in the car, a little Elvira smelly thing. Uh, because we tried to capture like the flavor of my television show, and so it smelled like cheese, which was not a good smell for your car. That's what Mr. Lobo's car smells like. Yeah, I know. Did you know that I was... It's the last night. It's the last night of Midnight Mass. It's time to party! Um, I know, it's going to make me sad. I don't want to talk about it yet. Um, you know, when I was a kid, I used to have a poster of yours in my bedroom where you were in a bathing suit and it said moon bathing. Oh, is that and what happened? Were... I still have that. Yes. <laughs> well, you know, my mother blames you for a lot of things, actually. And lately, though, when I'm touring around the country, I am finding that more and more little horror hosts are coming out of the woodwork in every city I go to. There'll be like two or three horror hosts, and I, I will always give them advice. Coming out of the closet. Coming out of the closet, exactly. We're here, we're fear, we're horror hosts. I like always, uh, you know, meet several, and I'll always give them advice, like, you know, stay out of the way of the front of my car when I leave. And, uh, I'm always happy to help them out. And, uh, no, anyway, I really, really am happy to see all these horror hosts kind of making a comeback. Even if it's on cable network or whatever, no matter how small, they're getting audiences and they're going out around the country. And so it's sort of coming back, which is a really great thing, because I thought that was going to be something that just disappeared into the ether. I only know what it's like to be a national superstar. <laughs> you recognize in a few countries, most of the rich ones. But I'm wondering what it must be like to be able to go anywhere in the world and everyone knows who you are. I mean, you are a huge, huge superstar. I'm especially uh, popular in Japan where they love anybody in tons of makeup and big tits. I'm going to Japan!